first time playing football, I was four years old. And at four, we started playing flat ball for I-9. And our team had like me, Leandre, Cavani, we was all just playing together. Then one game, the team decided to pass the ball deep. I was playing safety and I came and hit him. And my dad said, nah, I got to sign you up for a contact. So then we moved to Screaming Eagles when I was six. And then when we went to Screaming Eagles, he was like, well, yeah, you did good here, but I feel like we need to get more talent and get more exposure and play against other people, see how really good you are. So then we moved to his own league called True Elite. And in True Elite, we played people in Gainesville and all that until about like six years, no, until about sixth grade. And in sixth grade is when I just stopped playing AAU. And at Powell, my seventh grade year, I had stopped playing AAU. I just moved and I just like, I'm trying to play middle school. So seventh grade year, we was we had we had just came from one and five, so we was like we can't do that again. So that year this they this had, they had just started the um, championships where we can go eight games. So my dad put me at running back, and at first I was just like I don't know if I can do this. And I just started fumbling. This is my first year I ever fumbled like three times in one game. So then he was like, well since you're fumbling, I can't just keep you keep you starting. So he moved me to like a blocking back because I was always able to hit. So we moved to blocking back. I just ran in the hole, I was blocking people. I still played corner. So that year, then we went to like the championships. We got to like 40 and 0 against Challenger for the championship game. But the game before, we played Parrot again. When we played Parrot, we was like, well, the first time we was really scared because they were big, they were way bigger than us. And then that, we went 36 12. And after that, we knew we could win the championship easy. Eighth grade, we were playing in a scrimmage game, and I um, threw, my, threw my elbow out. And my elbow, like, the nerves fell out, and I was like, dang, I don't know what to do. So the doctor said, well, you can wear a brace and play, but it's really bad. So I put a brace on, taped it up. It was my eighth grade year. I had to go play. So we went. We beat teams by 30. And then when we was beating them, we was like, well, Challenger going to give us a hard game anyway. So we went against Challenger. We beat them by 30. We was like, well, this is going to be a real good season. We went and played, explored first round of playoffs, and we beat them 2-0. Say we got a safety, and we were so happy because we thought, we thought it was over. And then we played Challenger, the championship game, we beat them like 6-0. So by the end of the season, we just stopped scoring a lot. So and then after that, I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to get ready for play high school. I got to get bigger, stronger. Freshman year, I go to Springside High School, and I'm playing JV. And the coach was like, well, we don't want you playing running back because you're not fast enough yet. So I was like, well, OK, well, what do I play? And they said, well, you can go to quarterback. And I was like. So I got to make the best of it where I'm at. So I was playing the first game. We went and played Lecanto. And Lecanto, for some reason, didn't have a JV, so we had to play the varsity. The varsity beat us by, like, 30. So I was like, I don't know if high school is for me. These people are big. I'm, I'm too little for this. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. So then after that, we just went on a rampage. We started beating everybody. And by the end of the season, uh, we went 5-1. and one, And we had beat. We had played the, um, Hernando, like, twice. And I was like, well. I really connected with those boys over there, and I, I, I was like, I don't know if I want to, want to stay at Springstead. I was like, and my dad, he had got a job with Hernando, too. So after my freshman year, I transferred to Hernando for my sophomore season, and the rest of my career, obviously, because you know, I'm there now. So um, my sophomore year, I was on JV for like half of the year, and I, the Springstead game, midseason, the coach, he called me, and he was like, well, the linebackers hurt, so we got to find somebody. And I was like, well, Coach, I don't, I don't really play linebacker. I play DB. And he was like, well, you got to do it today. And he threw me out of there. And I, these people are a little bigger than I thought. And so I go out there. And first drive, I hit somebody. I was like, well, they, they don't hit that hard. So I, like, I might be able to do this. So after the spring state game, I was like, I'm like, OK. I think, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I can play varsity now. So at the end of the season, we just hired a new coach named Coach Cargo. And we were like, well, what, what is he like? And she was like, he's, he's, he's not like Coach Garcia. He was nice. So we come to Coach Garcia yelling at Friday. We were like, okay, well, what was Coach Cargo on? Because Coach Cargo, he was, uh, he was good night. He was like, you know, y'all gonna y'all gonna be all right. It's okay. You know, we're gonna transfer like transfer some people and get them into the right spot. And we were like, okay. Yeah. When I first met John Capel, um, I was very impressed. Uh, he was one of the the young men that never missed a workout. Was always early early to the field when we did field work. Um, we needed a quarterback last year, and he stepped up and played quarterback, even though his real position is running back, outside linebacker. 
he really stepped up and played quarterback. So I was very impressed with his athleticism and his determination and his dedication. He put me at quarterback first, first, first practice. And I was sitting, I'm like, quarterback, coach, I don't know about this. I said, yeah, I can do it, but I'm a linebacker coach. And he was like, well, you got to do it your whole junior year. So my junior year, I came out there and I just started going crazy. Like I got, I started throwing, and running people over. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm ready. I can, senior year's going to be crazy. John's uh, improved tremendously, you know, on the field, off the field. Um, he has uh, uh, embraced the new culture. Uh, you know, there's been a few speed bumps, you know, over the past 12 months, and he has become one of our leaders. The, I would say the leader, uh, not missing any workouts, not missing any time on the field, uh, and embracing his new role as the starting tailback, you know, on offense. Uh, we did change the defense a little bit, and he's embracing that too. He loves it. Uh, but I think the most important thing was that he really, him and his dad got together and they really focused on his speed. He's a big kid for a running back, and he's gotten two tenths of a, ten, uh, two tenths of a second faster just in the off season, working on speed uh, and agility. For my senior year, I want to at least have 200 yards each game. I want to at least score at least once a game. I have to score at least once a game. And for my team, I, we need to at least go 64 this year. I can't go, I, I have to go neutral at least. Neutral, better, positive, all that. But I need to at least have 200 yards. I want to have a 2,000 yard season. And, you know, win every, pretty much every game that we step on the field and try to play. For my work ethic, you know, I go to the gym about two times a day. I work out at school with my team, and then I go to the, to the gym and work out afterwards. But for the whole off season, I had worked on straight speed because I was like 4'8". I was like, I can't be running a 4'8 my senior year. So I got down to like a 4'4", four, 4'5", four, four, and I was just working. And we, my bench had was like 225. And I was like, well, if I'm playing running back and linebacker, I can't. I can't have my bench that low. I gotta have it up. So I got my bench up to like 300, 315, and then I was like, well, my so my legs are already strong, so I just gotta get them strong and keep them strong, and be able to run people over and pound the ball for my team so they can open up the passing. In school, I come to school every day. I missed like one day this year for a physical, and I was I was mad that day too because we had an essay to do. And I was like, well, if I miss this essay, my my grade gonna go down. But I have a uh, 3.8 GPA. Uh, my mom, she's always about she's always about school. She's always been about school. So when I got, got that 10-10 on my SAT, she was like, well, you got to put some work in. We can't do that. So I had put like 10 hours in every week, and I got my SAT score to 1130. And um, so I got superintendent's list this year, superintendent's last year. And I'm trying to get, I'm trying to go for principal's list this year, too. Um, life, it moves so fast. So when I got to high school, it felt like freshman was like yesterday. And I couldn't really get there without my dad, my mom, Coach Cargo, Coach Garcia, Coach Garifano at Springs that he made me tougher, and all my AAU coaches. I can't really name them all because it was a long time ago, but they were they was all just so great and always strive for me to be the greatest at all times. Uh, John will be the um, he'll be the team captain. We're gonna have one main guy, kind of like we did last year with another player. Uh, he's gonna be a captain for every game. He's shown that he is the leader of this team. Uh, the great thing about John is that you don't have to worry about him showing up for practice, for workouts, uh, in class. You never have to worry about him in the halls. He's got one of the best GPAs on the team. It's around a 3.9 grade point average, uh, and there's multiple colleges looking at him. So uh, he leads by example, and if you're not getting it done on the field, he'll give you a little extra boost when you need it. Life's been a real fun roller coaster. I'm ready just to keep that ride going.